Hi you guys, my name is Sharita and hi. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about this YouTuber um, and how she posted a, in my opinion, a fabricated story about Jackie Ina. So the only reason why I know about this video is because of Jackie. Jackie Ina earlier this week posted a tweet that said, I'm watching this response video about how this young lady said I was the rudest YouTuber she ever met. But here's where she messed up. She said I came into the restaurant and order and I ordered a ham and cheese sandwich. If you know me, spot the issue with this statement, please. LMFA. Oh. So if you don't know, Jackie Ina is lactose intolerant and she also does not eat pork. So that statement in itself, I feel like, okay like story is probably not even real now at this point I hadn't even seen the video and so I'm going through the comments and somebody clicked your posted the link and was like hey here's the video for you know you guys that are asking so I went and I watched the video and it's a mukbang mukbang it's a mukbang bang of this girl eating pizza and telling her story and the story in itself I mean, it was a good story, as in the story was told well, but there were just so many inconsistencies within that story, especially the whole ham and cheese thing. Like, I can't get over this ham and cheese. Like, Jackie, Jackie doesn't eat pork. So anyways, I watched the video, whatever. And then, um, and then yesterday, I feel it was, Jackie posted an update on her Twitter. So this girl doesn't have a Twitter from what I can see um, cause in her description box, she just has like Instagram and Snapchat. Um, but she, I don't think she has a Twitter, but that's besides the point. So Jackie posted a tweet and it said, and it just says, I have an update on this with the laughing emoji and then the emoji. She goes on with like receipts, like real receipts. And it was like, so the video was uploaded on December 4th. And in the video, the lady said the incident happened two days ago. Well, so I know that videos don't always necessarily get filmed and uploaded on the same day. So it's hard to know whether or not she meant two days ago from December 4th or two days ago from December 3rd and so on and so forth. It was a Vlogmas video and it was uploaded on the 4th. So that tells me it's highly likely it was filmed in December. Dennis watched the video and was so confused because we do not remember her at all. So we literally looked at each calendar date in December. Oh, I think that's supposed to be in December to investigate. December 3rd, I woke up hella late from filming the night before. I stayed up all night wrestling with my computer because I couldn't get my video up. I had a BuzzFeed and WWD interview that morning and stayed home the rest of the day to film this, trying to play catch up. December 2nd, I filmed and uploaded the James Charles review in the same day. That's rare, I do both in one day, but I really wanted to get the video up. I don't even think I bathed that day, let alone went to a restaurant. I was glued to my office the entire day. And then she links her receipt of like her posting the James Charles video on that day. Then I was really sad because I couldn't get the video uploaded that night because my computer was playing games, as you can see by these tweets and the timestamps. December 1st was a Teen Vogue Summit. Immediately after that, Dennis and I had CPK, which if you don't know, California Pizza Kitchen. For Din Din after, I ordered my cheeseless pizza specialty. I would show you how delicious it was, but the story expired. And again, she's got receipts showing this is where she was, this is what she was doing. And she also went back like onto her Snapchat and figured out how to like, how to look at her saved stories or whatever. And so she did, put that picture of her cheeseless pizza. November 30th, I was on the flight coming back home from Tokyo. Poor twist, I think that's supposed to be plot twist. I'm not going to a restaurant to order ham and cheese after an 11 hour flight. I was in Tokyo for a week, by the way, LMAO. So um, two days ago from December 4th, how and when? Hmm. Dennis has no clue who she is. I have no clue who she is. At no point in that four day period did we go to any other restaurant but CPK. So I don't know how her potatoes versus tomatoes conflict fits into any of this. I don't eat either on my pizza. The video was interesting to say the least. LMAO, but unfortunately not true. 
We, the YouTube police, find the defendant guilty on nine counts of impersonating a ham and cheese server, assault on a deadly pizza, and misuse of napkins. So in a nutshell, Jackie pretty much broke it down. A lot of people have gone to this young lady's video. I'm assuming they started leaving hate comments. I don't know because the comments are disabled on the video. But also like when somebody puts receipts out like this, like it's hard to debunk that whole scenario. The fact that she was in Tokyo, the fact that, you know, she, the only restaurant she's been in, she's been in within the past couple days has been California Pizza Kitchen, which I looked at the menu, but I don't even know if they have like ham and cheese croissants at CPK or if they've got like an egg dish, which is what Jackie, according to the young lady, um, what she wanted to order originally. So I don't know, it, it's just, and then of course, a lot of people were saying like, oh, she did it for clout, she did it for money, blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. But she's not even monetized. So I, I don't know, maybe this young lady did meet Jackie. Maybe the situation like happened differently in her head. Cause you know what they say about stories, there's always three sides, side A, side B, and then the truth. But it's like, do people do a lot of these things like just like say her story is is fake? which I personally think that majority of what she said was fabricated or exaggerated. But again, not my story, it's hers. Is this what, is this what a lot of people do? Like they, they fabricate something to try to make it big. Not that this one situation is going to make her big because like that one video that she did about Jackie has like 11,000 views. And then every, like all of her other videos have like like a hundred views or whatever. So kind of similar to like how my channel is. <laughs> but I, I don't know, I just feel like a lot of these things have been done before. Like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna do this. I feel like a lot of things like this, you know, have been done before. People make up stories and then it gets out on the internet and then, you know, now everybody's kind of talking about it and they've seen it. However, so there is a follow up video. So, um, so the YouTuber, her name on YouTube is like Black Queen. Her and her boyfriend got on camera and I guess they were just like talking about the tweets that she had um, like tweets about her and the situation. Now, I understand people can be ugly and negative, but I don't think that number one, I don't think Jackie was negative about the situation. You know, all she really said was like, this is what happened during these days. Um, she also said something along the lines of like, she wouldn't be surprised if she did meet her. But, you know, basically like people get in their heads about, you know, situations when they happen. So like I said, people can be mean and negative and I think Jackie handled it really well, but I guess the girl and her boyfriend didn't see what she said. Like they didn't take it as, I don't know. They took it as Jackie was being like mean and ruthless. Now don't get me wrong. Jackie has have, she's had her share of like pop-offs and, you know, like insensitive tweets and, you know, she's had her rude moments, but I don't think this was a rude one. You know, and a lot of people, they just want to focus on on things like, you know, Jackie said, me and Dennis rarely show PDA, which the girl in the video said, you know, they're all kissy kissy, da 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 da. And so Jackie said, we rarely do PDA. So of course, everybody brought up pictures of like Jackie kissing Dennis, like on the cheek. And to me, I don't consider that PDA. I think, well, what people consider PDA, that's completely sub subjective. Like some people would consider like hand holding or, you know, a hug or, you know, like cuddles from behind or whatever. People might see that as PDA. People, you know, like me, I think like full on making out in public, to me, that's PDA. Anything else like, I don't know, public display of affection, like PDA could literally be anything. But I think when we're talking like what, over the top PDA or whatever, I don't know. But like Jackie said, she rarely, they rarely do PDA. Um, and then, if, you know, everybody's like, oh, well, what about this picture? What about that picture? Well, she didn't say she never does it. She said she rarely does it, you know? But within, you know, within the the video that this lady and, and her boyfriend did, like they were the whole time, they're kind of like laughing about the situation. And, you know, they're saying they're like laughing at Jackie and saying like, she looks her age, like, you know, yeah, she's like 30. And she looks her age and blah, blah, blah. And like, honestly, like, you don't have to like anybody. But like, 
Do we have to dig at them? Which Jackie looks fantastic for her age as it is, but that's that's a whole nother situation. And then like the girl never responded to the debunked tweets, you know? It was just like, well, this is what happened. And then now we're gonna talk about race and all lives matter. <laughs> Please don't. But people who don't like Jackie, I think are going to believe this young lady's um, video, which, you know, that's fine because Jackie's done you know, something along the lines of the same thing, put out a video, um, which she thought was true. It ended up not being true. You know, Jackie took the video down when she realized she was wrong. But I, I don't know. And I, eh. either way, all I know is like, Jackie said like in her tweets that she didn't feel, she doesn't feel the need to like, to go after this girl because you know a lot of people be like oh well that's defamation of character and you need to sue her and blah 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 and it's like yeah not quite um especially over something so small which i think it is and the girl never really said like oh well maybe i got the order wrong jackie didn't order ham and cheese this is what she really ordered like i don't know like the whole response video to like the tweets is i don't know it was kind of weird i feel like she you know like if she's gonna Come if Jackie's gonna come back with a debunk, then you come back with a debunk. Like, oh well, this is ex this is actually what happened because da 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 da. da. And maybe Homegirl could be like, I don't even work at California Pizza Kitchen, so it couldn't have. Been, I don't know. It, it just could have been done better, in my opinion. So that's my long-winded video for no reason. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Um, I will link the videos. You know, if you guys want to go watch. Why not? I mean, homegirl told a good story and made everybody want to go eat pizza. So anyways, that is it for my video. Please make sure you click subscribe for new content every single week. And Oh yeah, and please don't forget to link up with me on my social media. All that information is down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.